of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the conference is going to be held on virtual platform. Fort City International University, PCIU, since its opening has been dedicated to finding solutions to big challenges and preparing students for leadership in a complex world. PCIU provides an outstanding and supportive environment for both undergraduate and postgraduate students. A talented and dedicated group of academics provide guidance and tutelage the students need to pursue their research and academic goals. We have over 110 permanent faculty members from different renowned universities from all over the countries. PCIU believes in quality and is fully aware that without proper resources and management, this will be an uphill task. To be a world-class educational institution, the university has already kept an efficient management team in place that has taken different measures to mobilize resources for infrastructure development and establishment of international connections. PCIU has been maintaining a steady growth over the last few years and is expected to do even better in the upcoming years. Our student enrollment has been increasing in every trimester and now it becomes approximately 6,000. PCIU is moving forward to achieving excellence and will continue to do so in the future as well, hopefully. Dear audience, PCIU expresses its enormous gladness for organizing the International Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth Industrial Revolution starting from today, the 12th March 2020, which is expected to be ended successfully on 13 March 2021. This conference aims to provide a platform for research communities, engineers, scientists, and students to share their research experience and innovative ideas in the fields of engineering and technology. It also focuses on the types of compatible technology, their integration, and potential impact on society. The primary goal of this conference is to develop an informed collective understanding of the benefits, challenges, and related issues to sustainable development for the fourth industrial revolution. To promote sustainable industries and invest in research, development and innovation are important ways to facilitate sustainable development. At the very first step of this conference, we will have the recitation from the Holy Quran by our student, Asif Mahmoud, from the Department of CSE.
Thank you, Asif Mahmood, for your beautiful recitation. Now, I would like to request the organizing secretary of ICS DCIR 2021, Mr. Deepak Kumar Choudhury, associate professor and head of the Department of Tripoli, Port City International University, Chattogram, Bangladesh, to deliver his speech on the conference overview to the audience. Induction of IS DTA 2021, Her Excellency, Honorable Education Minister, Mr. Dipumoni, Member of Parliament, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Honorable Estate Minister, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Polok, um, Member of Parliament, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Honorable Estate Minister, Mr. Enamur Hok Shaming, Founder, President, Chairman of Port City International University, distinguished keynote speakers, respected colleagues, all participants, uh, salam, and very good morning. On behalf of Conference Program Committee, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you at this International Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth Industrial Revolution. I am really, really delighted that the uh, Faculty of Science and Engineering are, uh, has organized this conference with support of Port City International University. To develop. To develop informed collective understanding of uh, benefits, challenges, and issues uh, and through sustainable development for fourth industry revolution is the primary goal of this conference. Promoting sustainable industries, invest in education, research, and development are the important ways to achieve sustainable development. I, I am really happy to uh, announce that uh, the total 87 paper of different countries have been submitted at this conference. And only 39 papers have been selected, uh, maintaining international standard. TPC, Technical Program Committee, has maintained international standard to review the each paper. At least two reviewers has reviewed this paper. Besides Bangladesh, uh, papers from India, Ireland, United Kingdom, Spain, and Iran, uh, have, uh, authors uh, from those countries have submitted their paper at this conference. I, I, I express my gratitude to our honorable uh, president founder uh, for uh, his generous attitudes towards research and development. I also, I, I th I, my heartiest thanks uh, go to uh, participating authors, participating authors, uh, my colleagues, uh, uh, honorable uh, keynote speakers uh, for their uh, great contribution at this conference. My thanks uh, due to Professor Dr. Kaji Delwar Hussain, Professor Dr. Srijipal Chuet, uh, Professor Dr. Ajwar, uh, Anwar Al Ajim, Chitang University, Professor Dr. Ahad, University of Dhaka, uh, and, uh, for supporting their countless time being successful this conference. Uh, my thanks, uh, my thanks, my special thanks to Chair Aitipuli Bangladesh Section for uh, 
Dr. Professor Celia Shahanas for her tremendous support to success to make successful this conference. I am. I hope that I hope that this conference bring collaboration among researchers from Bangladesh and world and make a collaborative partnership between industries and uh, universities. Thank you again all of you uh, for being participa participating in this conference. And I, I hope very successful and very enjoyable ISDTR 2021. Thank you everybody and a very good morning again. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir, for your nice overview on the conference. Now, I would like to invite Honorable Patron of the inaugural ceremony of ICS DTIR 2021, as well as our Honorable Vice Chancellor of Port City International University, Professor Dr. Muhammad Nurul Anwar to deliver the welcome speech. Please give him a big round of applause. Approved Portsmouth International University 
on 18th November 2012 in Chapter 1. In order to promote higher education for the common people and to enhance the quality of the tertiary education under the visionary leadership of our honorable founder, president, and chairman, Mr. A.K.M. Enamon Hafshani, and honorable deputy minister of the water resources. We are heading towards achieving the goals for SDZ. So, from the very beginning, of this university. Our mission and vision is to develop the course of international university as a great institution in this region and ensure that the engineering departments together will act as a trust bearer to lead the fourth industrial revolution. I, on behalf of the course of international university, Welcome all the national and international participants and guests to the National Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth Industrial Revolution 2021. And thank them for their participation. I wish the International Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth Industrial Revolution. 2021, a great success. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you, sir, for your precious words. Now, may I take the privilege to request our special guest, Professor Dr. Celia Shahnaz, Chair, IEEE Bangladesh Section, Professor, Department of Tripoli, Buet, to share her valuable thoughts with us. Please give a big round of applause to welcome her. Um, thank you very much. Am I audible to all of you? Can you hear me? Yes, madam, you are very clear. Please continue. Thank we you request you to continue, madam. Yes. Thank you. Uh, it's a great honor uh, that I'm here today for Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth Industrial Revolution. The Chief Patron, Honorable Vice Chancellor, and other uh, respected guests, especially our Chief Guest and our Special Guest, our Honorable Ministers of this country, and uh, and policymakers, faculty members, students, authors. It's a great honor that we all here together to inaugurate this conference. This conference has such a great theme that is very much related to our country, and that is the sustainable development goals. Every one of us is aware of United Nations 17 sustainable goals, sustainable development goals. And this is very much related to fourth industrial revolution. We have missed three revolution, but, but we are <clears throat> our honorable prime minister and our honorable ministers and all faculty members and policymakers and the root level people are working hard to embrace the technology to address and to progress with fourth industrial revolution, use of AI. Dear audience, we hope we keep patience for some unstable network. We are missing the connection. A little. We hope that our special guest will be back soon. We hope that our special guest connection will be back soon. I expect and request all of you to keep patient during this time. Thank you.
Due to the poor connection, we have lost the connection with our special guest. We hope that she will be back soon. Dear audience, this conference is dedicated to Mojib Borsho, organized by Port City International University as a part of celebrating the birth centenary of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mojib Rahman. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the conference is going to be held on virtual platform. Dear audience, we are waiting and we are expecting that we will get back soon our special guest. Uh, I'm really sorry. I had uh, a connection problem. Uh, so am I audible again? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes okay. ma'am. So actually you, I was talking. Continue. Yes, I was talking about uh, sustainable development when I'm use of fourth industrial revolution. The, for the younger students and the young faculty members, the uh, fourth industrial revolution uh, may, uh, may, hear, uh, may look very hard, but I am giving you some example that you start with uh, use of robotics or uh, let, let us design a, a simple robot to, uh, to clear your uh, waste bins in the campus first. And that will uh, give our students, our faculty members, a good view of uh, smart technology, use smart technology uh, to solve the problems around you. So this is sustainable development goals uh, that will work towards smart cities and smart communities, which is one of the goals. And we can think about gender equality, use of technology for women empowerment. And also we can use sustainable technology for education. These are some examples. And now it is COVID. If we think that we will use our robotics for designing a robot who will bring food in the, in the canteen, actually it is needed. But you know now we really need some disinfection robots. So let us, without bringing those robots from Singapore, from outside and selling it to our campuses, let our teachers and our faculty members build that disinfection robots so that our student can see and can relate to COVID-19, can think that they do not need to wait for a PhD to develop a technology to help the community. IEEE Bangladesh section is exactly doing it. We have applied for a fund to the global IEEE and received $5,000 to train our students in 52 university because IEEE has branch in 52 universities to build such disinfection robots so that we can use those designs in our campus and we can talk our policy makers to use in our country in the public places to help our country. So this is a overall 
uh, goal of sustainable development technology and how we can connect it to the smart world or fourth industrial revolution. I'm so happy uh, that Port City International University has taken such an initiative. And I have, uh, I, I have seen the uh, papers who were uh, listed. I think the papers will be very helpful uh, for training of the young students. And not only that, we can follow up with the papers that how many of the papers presented here are published in archived journal, which is very important for increasing the visibility and increasing the ranking of this university, which is one of the targets. And also we have to see how many papers we can transform from project ideas into product. This is very, very important because potential Port, uh, City International University can serve as a hub to create entrepreneurs in the country through the conference paper presentation. <clears throat> so IEEE has been supporting all conferences. Previously, there are 10 years back, only two conferences in the country. Now it is 10, 15 conferences and we are supporting the capacity building of, of every conference. Although this conference is not a IEEE technical co-sponsored conference, but I think this conference, we will work together. We already work together about, about helping by keynote speaker, by helping by session chair, helping by different session. We already supported it, but we are, already that we will do a very successful conference and hopefully it will work as a great preparation to be a IEEE technical co-sponsored conference so that the papers presented here can be uploaded in the IEEE Explorer, which is the largest database in the world for archiving your research. Hope this will increase the visibility of Port City International University's effort beyond border, which is very, very important. <laughs> the, all universities in Bangladesh will know, know about it effort. That's the purpose. So I hope the conference organizers have worked very hard, especially the reviewers who really did the good job, who really reviewed the papers. And because of them, uh, the papers will be presented here. I, and we need to really recognize our reviewers by sending e-certificate or something. This is a small recognition because we cannot give money to them. So this is very important to recognize our silent reviewers, uh, our, 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 our committee members who really did it because this is a completely volunteer job apart from our academic activities. So I wish all the best and uh, I really thank the chief patron and all the policymakers and, uh, and, and who patronized this conference. And Professor Deepak knows that I really uh, uh, did my level best to help this conference and I will do more in my capacity even if, I, even if I remain or may, may not remain as a chair. I am a volunteer as always. I'm working here for more than 20 years and, and, and I will keep on doing it. I will I provide my commitment to help this Port City International University because they are really doing a great job by organizing such conference and hope they will come up with many new ideas. I have given just few example. The bottom line is we have to identify just one problem around us, starting from our classroom and provide technological solution. So once again, I congratulate this university, congratulate vice chancellors and other faculty members. And I wish all the best for this conference. During the conference, if you just need any help for any session chair, for anything, just reach out to me. I'll be always there. So congratulations once again, and thank you for inviting me and providing me such an opportunity uh, to share my small view with you. Hope if we can work together, we can take this view to the greater levels. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam, for your thoughtful words. Now, may I call upon stage our Honorable General Chair of the program, Honorable Member of Board of Trustees, 
academic advisor of PCIU, a prominent professor from the Department of Microbiology of University of Dhaka, former vice chancellor of Stanford University, Bangladesh, <laughs> Professor Dr. M. Mujibu Rahman to share his views with the audience. Please give him a big round of applause. Thank you. Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Dipumoni, AMP, the Minister of Education, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Honorable Special Guest, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Pollock. MP, State Minister, Ministry of Information and Communication Technology, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Honorable Deputy Minister and Founder, Chairman, President of Port City International University, Mr. A.K.M. Anamul Haq Shamim. Honorable Vice Chancellor of Port City International University, Ms. Professor Dr. Nurar Anwar. Honorable Chair of the IEEE Bangladesh, Professor Dr. Celia Shanas, members of the Board of Trustees, distinguished guests and participants from home and abroad, a very good morning to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody is safe and sound under this prevailing COVID-19 situation. I am grateful to the organizers for giving me the opportunity to say a few words in the inaugural session of this conference on sustainable development in technology for the fourth industrial revolution, that is ICS DTIR. The organizers have selected a very appropriate and timely theme as the world is moving forward towards the fourth industrial revolution very fast. COVID-19, as you know, has already hastened this process significantly. Technology will soon take over humans, and the new world will depend largely on artificial intelligence. The fourth industrial revolution will change the world forever, and of course, the mankind will be benefited most. However, this may force many people out of their jobs, and the, and the labor-intensive industries may face severe competition to stay in the market. Developing nations must be cautious in adopting this technology before making their workforce ready for the market. Ladies and gentlemen, as Honorary Regional Chair of this conference, it is indeed a great pleasure for me to be associated with this interesting event and express my feelings on, the, on this occasion. Four City International University, as you know, has been organizing seminars, symposiums, conferences on regular basis since its inception. However, no such international conference has yet been organized by the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, although the PCIU has a number of international conferences to its credit organized by the Faculty of Business Studies. It is no doubt a challenging task in holding this kind of international conference under the prevailing pandemic situation. Thanks to the digital technology, which has enabled us to organize this conference despite the surge of COVID-19 in many countries. The organizing committee deserves special thanks as they have successfully made all arrangements and got immense support of the scientific community from home and abroad. I understand that the organizers had, had to struggle a lot to sort out the papers as they were, they were overwhelmed by the numbers of papers submitted by different authors. This conference has been enlightened by the participation of some renowned, renowned keynote speakers from USA, Spain, UK, India, and Iran. It has been a tremendous achievement and success for the organizers in this pandemic situation. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past few years, excellent achievement or advancement in science and technology has been taking place, paving the way for the fourth industrial revolution to take place. And that will create opportunity to build a viable economy, not only in Bangladesh, but also in the world as a whole. I believe that IC is DTIR 2021 will bring together researchers 
students, practitioners from academia and in industry to share the knowledge, thoughts, ideas on the latest advancement in technology in the areas especially on artificial intelligence and robotics. This conference, as you know, is being held at a time when the nation is commemorating the 100th birthday of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, along with the celebration of Golden Jubilee of our independence with due solemnity and festivity. And there cannot be a better occasion to glorify and honor our nation and the heroes of our liberation war. The Fourth International University takes this as a proud privilege to dedicate this conference to the Mujib Warsaw. The Fourth City International University is committed to uphold the ideals of the father of the nation and the spirit of the liberation war and transform it into Shonar Bangla as envisaged by Bangabandhu. This university lends full support to the dynamic, ever farsighted, and uncompromising leadership of the Bangabandhu's Wadi daughter, the Honorable Prime Minister of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, for her sincere effort to bring happiness and smiles to the people of Bangladesh. And with these few words, I conclude my speech. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Joy Bangla, joy Bangabandhu, long live Bangladesh. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. Well, at this point, we are going to enjoy a documentary highlighting the successful journey of Port City International University, Chattogram, Bangladesh. To ensure the quality of higher education in the country, Honorable Prime Minister of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, daughter of Bangabandhu, Sheikh Hasina MP, gave permission to establish Port City International University on November 18, 2012, in Chattogram. Port City International University is one of the leading private universities in Bangladesh, founded by Mr. A.K. Menamul Haq Shamim, MP, Honorable Deputy Minister, Ministry of Water Resources, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, and Honorable Founder, President and Chairman, along with an efficient and dedicated team with the motto to promote excellence in higher education. PCIU started its academic activities with 69 students in seven programs on May 17, 2013. At present, PCIU is educating around 6,000 graduate and postgraduate students supervised by experienced faculties under the leadership of Professor Dr. Mohammad Nural Anwar, Vice Chancellor of the University. The vision of the university is to establish itself as a global leading university to contribute to the development process utilizing the advancement in higher learning and research. With the heartfelt cooperation and sincere guidance of Honorable Founder, President and Chairman Mr. A.K. Menamul Haq Shamim, MP Deputy Minister, Ministry of Water Resources, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, the university is striving to prepare the students to meet the challenge of ever-increasing professional demand. PCIU has been running academic activities in its own student-friendly campus where multimedia-supported classrooms, Ratnagarbha Alhaj Begum Ashrafun Nisa Library, Bangabandhu Corner, Medical Center, Cafeteria, Common Room, Prayer House and other state-of-the-art facilities are available. 
Begum Ashrafun Nisa Foundation provides scholarship to needy and meritorious students of PCIU in every trimester. Till 2020, a total of 874 students are offered scholarship of 36 lakh and 34,000 taka from this foundation. Port City International University is running academic activities under 10 departments within three faculties. Faculty of Business Administration, Faculty of Science and Engineering, Faculty of Humanities, Social Sciences and Law. Departments are Business Administration, Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Textile Engineering, Fashion Design and Technology, English, Law, Journalism and Media Studies and Natural Science. The departments are well equipped with sufficient laboratories and technology enabled classrooms. Every department of PCIU regularly arranges seminar, workshops, lecture series, field visits at every trimester to explore students' talent and prepare them as practical learners. The university has cultural forum, debate forum, IT forum, and sports forum. The students of PCIU are involved in different extracurricular activities to flourish their talent and creativity. Port City International University regularly arranges national and international training programs for the faculties to make them qualified as educators and researchers. Meanwhile, faculties attended international training programs in Malaysia, United Kingdom and India. Center for Training and Development organizes periodical training session for the newly appointed faculty members for preparing them perfect for the classroom challenges. To ensure global standard higher education, teachers, students exchange and join collaborative research program with foreign and Bangladeshi universities has been arranged. PCIU has academic collaboration and MOU with the Nobel Institution for Environmental Peace Canada, Pan Pacific University Philippines, Nanjiang University China, Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology India, and Military Institute of Science and Technology Bangladesh. PCIU publishes a peer-reviewed multidisciplinary journal every year. Seven volumes of the journal have been published since 2015 to 2020. The university arranged its first convocation in 2019. Our talented and qualified graduates are serving the nation and the world with honesty, dedication and knowledge. PCIU hopes to start academic activities at its permanent campus located at Kolpolok in Chottogram within a short period of time. To explore a new horizon in higher education is the cherished dream of PCIU and university is gradually heading towards the desired goal with strong determination and dedication to turn your dreams into reality. Dear audience, I hope that we all have enjoyed the successful journey of Port City International University through a documentary. Now, we are going to launch the conference proceeding as ebook virtually. The ebook will be sent to the respective author's emails during the conference. Let, let us have a look on the ebook. The cover page of the conference proceeding as ebook. Table of contents where we have messages, committee, program schedule, technical session schedule, keynote and invited speakers, and accepted accepted papers options. We have the message from Dr. Dipumoni MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Education, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh.
in the e-book, we have also the message from Dr. Hassan Mahmoud MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Information, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. We have the message from Zunayad Ahmed Polok, MP, Honorable State Minister, Information and Communica Communication Technology Division, Ministry of Post, Telecommunication, and IT, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. We are very lucky to have the message from AKM Anamul Haq Shamim, MP, Chief Patron, ICS DTIR 2021, Honorable Deputy Minister, Ministry of Water Resources, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Founder, President and Chairman, OCT International University, Chattogram, Bangladesh. We have the message from Mohibul Hassan Choudhury MP, Honorable Deputy Minister, Ministry of Education, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. We have also the message from Saikud Jaman Shikor MP, Member, Board of Trustees, OCT International University, Chattogram, Bangladesh. We have also the message from Professor Dr. M. D. Noral Anwar, Patron ICS DTIR 2021, Vice Chancellor OCD International University, Chattogram, Bangladesh. We have the message from Professor Dr. M. Majibur Rahman. Honorary General Chair, ICS DTIR 2021, Department of Microbiology, University of Dhaka, Member, Board of Trustees, and Academic Advisor, OCT International University, Chattogram, Bangladesh. We have also the message from Professor Dr. Engineer Mavzal Ahmed, Organizing Chair, ICS DTIR 2021, Honorable Dean, Faculty of Science and Engineering, Professor, Department of Textile Engineering, Port City International University, Chattogram, Bangladesh. We have the message from Deepak Kumar Choudhury, Conference Secretary, ICS DTIR 2021, Associate Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Port City International University, Bangladesh. We have the names of the conference committees in the e-book. We see all the names of the committees, those who are involved to make this conference successful. We have also the program schedule in the e-book. We have also the names of the keynote speakers of different sessions. Good morning. 
This is neither a follow. So any this conference. Assalamu alaikum sir. Assalamu alaikum sir. Assalamu. Now may I take the privilege to request our keynote speaker, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Polo, MP, okay. Honorable State Minister, Information and Communication Technology Division, Ministry of Post, Telecommunication and Information okay. Technology, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, to share his valuable thoughts. Please give him a big round of applause. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. So can I just share my screen to present my slides? Because yes. I, I have to take the permission from the host. Yes, sir. You can. So it is a great pleasure for me to know the Port City International University of Bangladesh has organized an international conference on sustainable development in technology for fourth industrial revolution and uh, distinguished guests, members of the print and electronics media, especially our chief guest, Honorable Education Minister, Minister Dr. Dipumoni MP and Honorable Deputy uh, Minister for Water Resource, Mr. Enamul Hok Shamim Bhai, and respected teachers, researchers, scholars, good morning to you all. Still, I have not actually got the permission to share my screen. So I'm requesting to the host to allow me to share my screen. Or you can actually make me a co-host so that I can share my slides. So it would be easier for our participants to understand what we have done in last 12 years under the prudent leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Build Digital Bangladesh. And also I would like to share some of the achievements of Digital Bangladesh under the guidance of Honorable Advisor Mr. Shajib was a joy. And also how we are uh, adapting ourselves with the changes uh, of fourth industry revolution. So I'm asking and requesting to the host for allowing me to share my slides. Uh, I yes, think uh, uh, we you request you to share your screen, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. I hope you can see my slides now. Sir, we can see your screen very clearly. We request you to continue, sir. Thank you. Actually, uh, Bongobundhu laid the foundation of science-minded and technology-driven Bangladesh. Sustainable development is one of the most significant societal challenges of the 21st century. The global trend with significant simplifications for sustainable development is extraordinary rapid development and application of information technology that is uh, IT. Often uh, re referred to as uh, the IT revolution. However, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the greatest Bengali of all time, all and also, uh, I'm requesting all of you to please mute yourselves so that uh, everyone can yeah, hear. So the father of our nation had uh, the foresight and understand the importance that science and technology will have on the development of our nation from its very birth. As a result of his visionary thinking, 
he first included Bangladesh as a member of the International Telecommunication Union, ITU, in 1973. Then on 14th of June, 1975, he inaugurated the satellite art station at Bedbunia uh, Upojela uh, Kaukali, uh, which is the foundation of science-minded and technology-driven Bangladesh. Bangabundhu's uh, historic speech at the United uh, Nations, Bangabundhu firmly believed if the people of Bangladesh could gain control of their own resources and technology and utilize those independently, then regaining past glory was quite possible. In his historic speech at the United Nations on 25th September 1974, he said, self-reliance is our goal. There is no room for doubt at all that international cooperation and partnership in resources and technology can facilitate our task and elevate people's sufferings. However, emerging countries like ours should have the confidence in our own efficiency. The father of our nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur words uttered in 1974 in front of the world leaders at 29th UN General Assembly still rings amazingly true today after more than four decades. Bangabundu said, we will look to a world where humanity is capable of great success in the era of astounding advances in science and technology. By the equitable distribution of all the resources and technical knowledge of the world, the door to such welfare will be opened where every person will have the minimum guarantee of a happy and respectable life. This welfare philosophy is powerfully reflected in the development visions of Honorable Prime Minister <clears throat> Sheikh Hasina in her vision 2021, vision 2041, and even for vision 20, 200, one, uh, 2100. The Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina met with the founder of World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab at Davos um, on January of 2017 to discuss about the impl implications of the 4IR for uh, the uh, world economy. And I had the great opportunity to present over there during uh, her meeting. Digital uh, Bangladesh vision, which is enshrined in the vision 2021, has led to remarkable progress with the direct implementation guidance of the Honorable ICT Advisor, Mr. Shajib Wazid Joy, under the direction of the Honorable ICT Advisor, we have also started our preparation for the fourth industrial revolution. First industrial revolution used water and steam power to mechanize the production the second used electric power to create mass production. The third used electronics and information technology to automate production. Now the fourth industry revolution is building on the third, the digital revolution that has been occurring since the middle of the last century. It is it is, it is characterized by a fusion of technologies that is blurring the lines between the physical, digital, and biological spheres. Artificial intelligence and machine learning, advanced robotics and automation, internet of things, blockchain, 3D printing, quantum computing, advanced biotechnology, new source of power are the major trending technologies of fourth industrial revolution. Challenges 
and opportunities of 4IR in front of us, like the regulations, the proceeded, uh, that, that proceeded it, the fourth industry revolution has the potential to raise global income levels and improve the quality of life for populations around the world. Today, the global map is being altered at a much faster rate than anticipated due to the disruptive technologies and digital infrastructures. In the future, technological innovation will also lead to reduced risk at the workplace, improved regulation in the manufacturing industry, a regulation in the health sector, and increased the demand for specialized jobs. At the same time, the regulation could yield challenges in ensuring data security, dealing with technological errors in production, securing personal privacy, ensuring uninterrupted internet connection and loss of jobs due to automation transformations and disruptions are already occurring within labor markets across the world. It is estimated that by 2025, 18 to 47 percent jobs in the USA, 35 uh, percent jobs in Germany, 30 percent jobs in Britain, and 21 percent jobs in Japan are vulnerable to automation. For Bangladesh, there is a possibility that about 5 million people will lose their jobs in the next 10 years. In the past, technology has ended up creating more jobs than it wiped out. While some ro roles within specific industries will become obsolete uh, or automated, if proper planning is in place, about 10 million more jobs will be created in next 10 years. Some of the specialized jobs of the future are industrial robotics control, automated packaging operator, CAD CAM operator, 3D printer operator, IoT manager, cyber security specialist, ready to assemble designer, big data analytics, and augmented reality. The skills important for the future of, of work include learning skills, critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, communication, literacy skills like information, media, technology, and life skills like flexibility, leadership, initiative, productivity, social skills, and so on. The government has undertaken programs and projects being implemented all around the country, focusing on helping people and business take advantage of the marvels of the fourth industry revolution, including future of work, lab facilities, 4IR based 50 pilot projects, uh, curriculums for 50 uh, 4IR professionals, etc. Honorable uh, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina uh, said that uh, I'm, I'm mentioning her quote, quotation, uh, she said, skilled manpower is essential for fourth industrial revolution. So without this skill set, we cannot cope up with this rapid and massive changes. We are also building 39 high-tech parks and incubation centers across the country, Sheikh Russell digital labs in colleges and uh, schools, Sheikh Kamal IT training and incubation centers across the country, each and every districts, Sheikh Hasina Institute of Frontier Technology, SHIFT, Center of Excellence, COE on Frontier Technologies in university level, Center for 4IR and Schools of the Future, are among some of the notable 4IR initiatives by ICT division. Five national 
strategies have been formulated for Bangladesh to thrive in the fourth industrial revolution. That is a national strategy for robotics, national blockchain strategy, national internet of things strategy, national strategy for artificial intelligence and strategy for microprocessor design capacity in Bangladesh. You can download all these strategy papers from our website that is available to all. Information technology is the biggest catalyst in building a developed and modern digital Bangladesh. The fourth industry revolution will have a mostly positive impact on future of work. It will allow us to focus on more meaningful tasks and help people across every industry to complete their jobs to a higher standard. We should mitigate the challenges that come with it and grasp the opportunities to shape the fourth industrial revolution and direct it towards a future that reflects our national objectives and values. Therefore, it is important for us to formulate and implement an integrated plan. We have to apply all these emerging technologies in education, health, commerce, innovation, agriculture, everywhere. As um, the founder of World Economic Forum, Mr. Klaus Schwab said, as all these trends happen, the winners will be those who are able to participate fully in innovation driven ecosystems by providing new ideas, business models, products and services, rather than those who can offer only low skilled labor or ordinary capital. In, in the last 12 years, the government of Bangladesh has played a major role in promoting the ICT sector as the next growth availability of cheaper smartphones and rapid rise of social networking. We have seen an increasing emerging of digital information and communication. It advances have had tremendous economic effects by helping to drive the globalization of market and contributing to a greater knowledge uh, intensity of uh, economies. ICT sector has led to the knowledge-based economy, also known as the new economy. This has helped us survive through the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, not only survive, but Bangladesh has been one of the only two nations in Asian and ASEAN region to have had positive growth during the COVID uh, period. On, on the 100th birth anniversary of um, father of our nation and on the 50th year of independence of our glorious nation, we have achieved middle income status and have become a developing economy under the visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. At ICT Division, we are committed to keep on using ICT to develop our nation under the guidance of Honorable ICT Advisor Mr. Shajib Wazir Joy. And uh, I look forward to work with the Chittagong Port City University, and we are really interested to set up a center for fourth industrial revolution, uh, a specialized lab in uh, the university campus. So with this, I would like to conclude my speech. Mujib In the Mujib year, our commitment is to use technology as a tool to move the country forward. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabundu. Thank you for your patient hearing. Thank you, sir, for your precious words. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very lucky to have here with us 
Dr. Deepu Moni MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Education, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, as our chief guest. She completed her MBBS from GMC, LLB from NU, LLM from London, and MPH degree from John Hopkins. At this point, we would like to humbly request our chief guest, Dr. Dipumoni MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Education, to deliver the inaugural speech of the conference. Please give her a big round of applause to welcome. Um, today's special guest, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Palok MP, State Minister, Ministry of Information and Communication Technology, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, the Chief Patron, uh, Mr. AKM Inamul Haq Shamim MP, Honorable Deputy Minister, Minister uh, Ministry of Water Resources, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, and also Founder, President, and Chairman of Port City International University. Bangladesh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Mohammad Nurul Anwar, um, eminent professors, distinguished researchers, guests, participants from home and abroad. Uh, a very good morning to you all. Uh, it, it's, it's a pleasure and honor for me to say a few words before the speakers and um, the audience of the International Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth Industrial Revolution, organized by uh, the Port City International University, Bangladesh. Uh, and I'm also delighted to know that this conference uh, has been dedicated to the Mujib year. Um, as you all know, or uh, already know that um, uh, this year, we are not only celebrating uh, Mujib year, uh, which the celebration has started from March 17th, 2020, and will go on uh, till uh, December this year. This year is also our um, golden jubilee of our uh, independence. So this is um, a very special moment uh, in the history of our country that we are celebrating these two landmarks. Um, I want to take uh, a moment to mention the current pandemic and the challenges that uh, it poses for us um, uh, everywhere, especially in the uh, education field. COVID-19 has uh, once again reminded us uh, that we have only one world. Um, our lives are interconnected and our destinies intertwined. We need global solidarity and multilateral cooperation more than ever before. And now is the time to translate the political commitment demonstrated today into effective and meaningful actions. And um, uh, we know that globally, education sector has suffered um, a lot, but leaving education behind would be a catastrophe for our present and future generations. So the best course of action um, would be to limiting the spread of the virus. And uh, I would uh, hope and, and also advise uh, all educational institutions to follow um, all the rules, um, all the health rules um, that we must follow uh, to limit the spread of the virus during this pandemic. As you know, um, and our uh, honorable uh, special guest, um, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Palokim, he has very eloquently um, uh, explained the whole um, strategy, government strategy, our uh, plans and programs about sustainable development, about um, how we are going to take forward our country by using um, science and technology. Uh, so I will not uh, repeat all those things. Uh, I will just say a few words. Um, uh, as he has already um, mentioned, uh, that sustainable uh, development is one of the most significant societal challenges of the 21st century. And, and he also mentioned that uh, the global trend with significant implications for sustainable development is the extraordinarily rapid development and application 
of information technology, which is often referred to as the IT revolution. Uh, as you may know, one of our main objectives, and he also has mentioned, uh, one of the main objectives of the government of People's Republic of Bangladesh is the under the leadership of, of our visionary uh, Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, uh, is the sustainable development of the country to ensure uh, progress, prosperity, um, good livelihood, and dignity for all Bangladesh citizens equally. And in the last few years, Bangladesh uh, has seen tremendous growth in the information and communication technology sector, strengthening the quality of education uh, is a key to the human development needed to create growth and meet our ultimate objectives. The current education strategic plan embraces education for all through uh, three main aims, equitable access to education, improving the quality and efficiency of education services, and institutional and capacity development for education staff for decentralization. In the education sector, we are committed to provide access to quality education for all children in an equitable manner. Education is an important factor to eradicate poverty and radicalization. We must collectively respond to uh, these needs. In the last few years, the government of Bangladesh has played a major role in promoting the ICT sector as the next growth engine for Bangladesh with growing internet connectivity, availability of um, affordable smartphones and rapid rise in uh, social networking. We have seen an increasing emergence of uh, digital savvy consumers by drastically reducing the cost of information and communication. IT advances have had tremendous economic uh, impacts by helping to drive the globalization of markets and contributing to a greater knowledge intensity of economies, ICT sector has uh, led to the knowledge-based economy that um, our state, state minister has already spoken about. Um, indeed, this conference is, is a great initiative. And um, I fully agree with, with our honorable state minister when he talked about the skills um, we need to combine the knowledge with skills and the right kind of attitude so that our learners become uh, not just good citizens of our country, but be can become uh, global citizens because that is the need of the hour. And those skills um, must include uh, what we now call soft skills or emotional skills or social skills. And that is why we are um, reviewing our curriculum completely um, in order to add all those skills. And uh, we are training our, uh, all our teachers um, because without those skills, we are seeing a complete mismatch uh, in the work uh, area. Our graduates, those who are looking for jobs, they are saying that we're not getting jobs. A lot of them are saying that, uh, whereas the employers, uh, they're saying that we are not getting um, graduates with the required skills, the skills set that, that we, we are seeking. So there is this mismatch, and that is why we are um, uh, heavily promoting uh, industry academia linkage. Uh, and through, only through that, we can uh, minimize this, this gap. And... Um, uh, this conference, I hope um, uh, that uh, this is a great initiative um, uh, of Port City uh, University, International University. I believe that this, this um, conference will create uh, ample opportunities for the researchers, students, and professionals uh, in the field uh, to present their work um, and to contribute to the latest advancements um, of fourth industrial revolution. We have to get ourselves um, fully prepared to face the challenges um, uh, of fourth industrial revolution. We missed out on the previous ones. Uh, we cannot afford to miss this one. So we have to be a part of this revolution and benefit from this revolution. That is why we, 
the education sector uh, is so important. It's so important that uh, our in the education sector, we get it right uh, so that we prepare our learners um, for uh, this, this fourth industrial revolution. I hope that uh, the participants uh, will also explore collaborative research with, uh, with their partners abroad um, or even um, from within the country, from different universities, different institutions. I also believe that they will, um, everybody will enjoy this conference and contribute to the professional development um, and research towards a greater community in the world. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I hope uh, this two day uh, long international conference on sustainable development in technology for fourth industrial revolution 2021. Uh, will uh, be um, you know, a great success to exchange of knowledge and ideas and experiences, uh, creative and innovative thoughts and resourceful discussions on the aspects of uh, sustainable development and the fourth industrial uh, revolution. I thank all the scholars uh, uh, from home and abroad who are participating in this international conference. I would also like to um, convey my heartfelt thanks uh, to the organizers and, and their associates for their support and uh, cooperation because this is a very timely initiative. Uh, before concluding my uh, speech, I once again thank uh, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Kalu, uh, who made my uh, job very easy because he has um, uh, so eloquently um, explained government's policies and strategies. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I also uh, thank Mr. A.K. Minamul Haq Shamim MP uh, and uh, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, other organizers, participants. And I wish the conference a grand success. And I also uh, uh, declare the conference open. Um, Thank you all. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabuntu. May Bangladesh live forever. Thank you, Madam, for your inspiring words. Ladies and gentlemen, the person who I'm, I'm going to request now is the main guide behind all our activities. He is our mentor to establish a leading private university here in Chhatrogram. May I take the privilege to request our chief patron, Mr. AKM Anamul Haq Shamim, MP, Honorable Deputy Minister, Ministry of Water Resources, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Honorable Founder, President, and Chairman of PCIU to deliver his valuable speech and convey vote of thanks. Please give him a big round of applause. Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Deepu Muni MP, Education Minister and Honorable State Minister, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Pollock, members of the Board of Trustees and Vice Chancellor of Port City International University, eminent scientist, technologist, and distinguished guest from whom and award, and all members of the print and electronics media. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome everybody with best wishes from Mujib Bosho. At the very start, with a heavy heart and deep sense of respect, I remember the father of the nation, the greatest Bengali of all times, and the architect of independent Bangladesh, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman. He who embraced martyrdom. Uh, on the uh, martyrdom on the 15th August 1975, along with his wife, Bangamata, Sheikh Fazil Samujib, and other family members for this nation. I recall the sacrifices made by our valiant freedom fighters who laid down the lives during the liberation war. This month of March is eventful in many ways. Bangabandhu gave a historical speech on the 7th 
March, which is now recognized by UNESCO as a documentary heritage, followed by declaration of independence by Bangabandhu on the 26th of March, 1971. As you know, this international conference on sustainable development in technology for the fourth industrial revolution has been organized by the Port City International University at a time when the nation is celebrating the 100th birthday of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, uh, which has been coincided with another great event, the Golden Jubilee of Independence of Bangladesh. Our university has rightly dedicated this conference to Mojib Borsho. As we are committed to merit it realized the dreams of Bangabandhu to transform this country into Shunar Bangla under the able, dynamic, far sighted, and uncompromising leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister, Mother of Humanity, Sheikh Hasina. This, this conference is only a part of this series of program that have been under, undertaken by this university in honor of Moji Bosho and the 50 years of our independence. Dear audience, I take uh, this opportunity to inform you as founder, chairman of Port City International University that right from the beginning, we are committed to quality education and research and we have a vision to develop this institution as a center of excellence in higher education in this region. Today, we are greatly honored by the gracious presence of our honorable chief guest, Dr. Deepu Muni MP, the Minister of Education. She has been successfully handling the affairs of education ministry for the last couple of years through his capability, talent, and wisdom, distinguished guest. We have another delightful presence among us, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Balok, ICT Minister, who has already transformed this nation into a digital one under the guidance of leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her son, the IT advisor to the Prime Minister, Mr. Sujib Wajay Joy. We th uh, thank the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina for her Digital Bangladesh initiative, which has made this conference possible in this pandemic. Dear audience, I understand that a number of foreign participants are taking part in this conference, including some distinguished professors and technologists from USA, UK, Spain, Italy, and India, along with our local participants. I thank you all for our participation in this challenging times when COVID-19 is still surging. Your participation and cooperation have enriched the fellow fellows, scientists and technologists in the area where artificial intelligence is expected to rule the world in the near future. Finishing up my speech, I would like to thank the members of the organizing committee members of the advisory panel, faculty members, officers and other employees of the Port City International University for their hard work to make this conference successful. Thank you. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabandhu, long live Bangladesh. Thank you, sir, for your valuable speech. And also we thank you as you have conveyed both of thanks to all the presentees. Dear audience, with the permission from our chief patron, this is the end of the inaugural ceremony of ICS DTIR 2021. We thank you all for your presence in this ceremony. It is time for a break for 15 minutes. After that, our technical sessions and keynote sessions will be resumed. I request all to rejoin us using the links that have been provided to you. Thank you all. Thank you.
বিকালে তো দেখা হবে আপা থ্যাংক ইউ স্বপন স্যার কি কোথাও যাচ্ছে নাকি স্বপন স্যার হ্যাঁ যাচ্ছে গাড়ির ভিতরে অনেকগুলো রিমে রুমে চলবে আমার মাইক্রোফোন অন করা ছিল না 